Wow, what an epic, epic Grand Prix that was in the closing stages. Guys, this is Mr. Josh TJ, and this is your review to the Formula 1 2021 Bahrain Grand Prix opening race of the season. And what an unbelievable Grand Prix that was. From start to finish, race rating 10 out of 10. At the start, Sergio Perez's Red Bull shut down during the formation lap, so the cars had to go round again. But thankfully, Perez was able to restart his Red Bull, but had to start from the pit lane, which is very unfortunate for Sergio Perez. But in the start to the race, Max Verstappen got off the line well. Nikita made the pin, crashed into the barrier. Same area where Roman Grosjean had that horrific accident last year. What is it with the Haas cars keep crashing in that area? But thankfully, May's pin was okay. He got out in the car okay. Because Grosjean, he hit the barriers on the right. And this time, May's pin on the left in exactly the same area. So the two, so the Haas cars do not seem to like that area. Obviously... He's had an awful weekend to Maze Pen, and I think you know what score he's going to get when I get on to the drawing for ratings near the end of this video. So, right, race started, then the safety car came out, Max has and then started to pull away from Lewis Hamilton. Mercedes were playing the long game, they decided to come in, put Hamilton on the hard tyres, Red Bull stayed out. So Mercedes, they did the undercut and then Max Verstappen come in to the pits. Hamilton said he's feeling tire wear, so he came in and put on another set of hard tires. Fernando Alonso was hard on the race due to brake problems. It's a shame for him because he had a really, really strong qualifying session. So now it's a real shame for Fernando Alonso. Sebastian Vettel crashed into S-Man Ocon, 100% Sebastian Vettel's fault. Awful bit of drawing in there by Sebastian Vettel. Again, another drawing who's going to be getting a low scoring when I'm get on to drawing ratings. So Hamilton was in the leads, but Verstappen on the medium tyres, closing at him at a rate of knots. I mean, Hamilton has had the second... Best car all weekend, and the way he's controlling that race, absolutely fantastic. What a professional performance by Lewis Hamilton. If anyone says, oh, it's just the car, then they need a jolly good word with themselves. Lewis Hamilton is one of the best drivers in the world, and it shows it. You know, Silverstone last year, tyre exploded. Still came home to win the Grand Prix. So, yep, Lou Townsend is one of the best drivers in the world. Without question about it. The way he saw off Max Verstappen and then Max Verstappen, he's closing in on him. Pass Hamilton, but four wheels are off the track. So, Red Bull asked Verstappen to get that position back to Hamilton. And then afterwards, Verstappen just couldn't get his tires to work and he was in the dirty air and in the end with Mercedes still having a slight power advantage along the straights it was enough for Lewis Hamilton to come home and win the Grand Prix what an unbelievable drive that was by Lewis Hamilton Sonoda in the Alfa Tari P9 what a fantastic weekend to Yuki Tsunoda, he would have been very disappointed in qualifying, but in the race, a strong performance. And the way he overtook Alonso, just brilliant. Car 22, of course, Jensen Button used that car 22. So I wonder if Tsunoda is going to be a calm driver or an aggressive driver, but that was a great overtake on Fernando Alonso. But yeah, the retirements were. Alonso, Mazepin, Alonso, Gasly, a bit of a difficult weekend to appear, Gasly, Neafa, Tauri, damaged his front wing, 
Latifi came in without two laps to go, last two laps, so George Russell was the only Williams left in the race. And a strong weekend to George, you know, finished P14, Mick Schumacher last in P16 in the Haas, which to me is no surprise at all, because definitely Williams have got a better car than Haas this year, and Haas said they're not developing this year's cars, so... Yep, Haas are in for real struggle this season. Lando Norris, my driver of the day, what a superb performance. P4, and the overtaking on the track was great. Leclerc, good qualifying, but didn't quite have the race pace. But 6 and 8 for Ferrari, I do see positives. Their car does look much better than last year. And Kimi Raikkonen, P11 in the Alfa Romeo. It just shows the Ferrari power units this year have got a bit more power. Because that's a brilliant result for Kimi Raikkonen. But that is race one complete. What an unbelievable Grand Prix that was. Fauci Bottas got the fastest lap. Come in for a set of medium tyres to get the fastest lap. And, yep. Yeah, but really, well, mind you, Bottas had a poor pit stop, you know. It's a poor pit stop by Mercedes. Found she bought our second pit stop where the tyre just wouldn't come off. But he still finished P3. But all weekend really, nowhere near Hamilton or Max Verstappen. So quite a disappointing weekend for Bottas. But he still got a podium. And I said in my preview that my race prediction would be Lewis Hamilton first, Max Verstappen second. And Bottas third, and I got it right, but that was a masterclass and a drive by Lewis Hamilton. Absolutely fantastic. Just, he was under so much pressure, and he saw off Max Verstappen brilliant. Just, what an amazing driver Lewis Hamilton is. Right, let's get on to driver ratings and team ratings then. The first one for this season. And we're going to start off with the world champions, Mercedes. Lewis Hamilton, 10 out of 10. P2 in qualifying and an absolute masterclass of a drive in the race. So 10 out of 10 for Lewis Hamilton. Fauci Bottas, 5 out of 10. I think it's been quite a disappointing weekend for Bottas, if you ask me. Just did not look comfortable in the car at all this weekend, Bottas. Did well to finish on the podium, but nowhere near Hamilton and Verstappen this weekend. So, yeah, 5 out of 10. Red Bull, Max Verstappen, 10 out of 10. Pole position and a dominant weekend, but unfortunately still got beat by the world champion. But if Red Bull keeps this pace up all season, we are in for an epic, epic battle. Sergio Perez. Now, a poor qualifying, so you got to mark him down a bit. So I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. Good in the race, but a poor qualifying, you know. To put the medium tyres on in qualifying was a poor decision by Sergio Perez. But in the race, he did well. Finished P5, I believe, so well done to Perez. But you got to mark him down because of poor qualifying. Right. So Red Bull... McLaren, yeah, Lando Norris, 9 out of 10, a really good weekend to Lando Norris. Not that good in qualifying, but in the race, absolutely fantastic. Making his way up in the field, so 9 out of 10, P4, what a result. Daniel Ricciardo, first weekend in the McLaren, 8 out of 10, a decent, solid weekend for the Australian. Now, it takes him a few races to get going in the new car, but that really was a strong weekend for Daniel Ricciardo. Ferrari, Charles Leclerc, 7 out of 10. Great, good in qualifying, but didn't quite have the race pace, but things are looking on the up for Ferrari, definitely. Carlos Sainz, 7 out of 10. A decent weekend for Carlos Sainz on his Ferrari debut. Alpine, Fernando Alonso, 8 out of 10. Yes, I know he retired in a racing brake failure, but a superb effort 
to get through into Q3. Fernando Alonso, a really good weekend, but really disappointed he couldn't get the checkered flag because that would have been the perfect opening weekend for Fernando Alonso's return. As an knock on, 7 out of 10. Obviously, he got a bit caught out in qualifying, but had decent pace in the race, so 7 out of 10 for Ocon. Aston Martin, Sebastian Vettel, 0 out of 10. An awful weekend for the German. Got caught out in qualifying and was penalised for doing something under the yellow flags and had to start right to the back, and then he just crashed into Ocon. So a terrible opening weekend at Aston Martin from the German driver, Sebastian Vettel. Lance Stroll, 6 out of 10. Decent in the race, but Aston Martin looks like these regulation changes and really hurt Aston Martin. They just don't look like the racing point team they were last season. But, of course, early in the season, yet yeah, so... Plenty of time to turn it around. Alphatari. Yuki Sonoda. 10 out of 10. His performance in the race was absolutely brilliant. And, yeah, poor in qualifying now, but to be honest, a solid debut weekend for Yuki Sonoda. And I can't wait to see what he does for the rest of the weekend. Pierre Gasly, 4 out of 10. Not the best of the weekends in the French run. Damage is from winning the race and, yeah, didn't, wasn't on that high in qualifying. So, 4 out of 10 for Pierre Gasly. Bit of a difficult weekend. Haas, Nikita Mays pin, 0 out of 10. An absolute horrible weekend for the Russian driver. About four spins. Just a terrible opening weekend to Nikita Mazepin. Mick Schumacher. 7 out of 10. A decent, solid weekend to Mick Schumacher. Alright, finished P16 in the race. Slowest car, but a decent weekend to Mick. So, really impressed. George Russell. Hang on. Williams. George Russell. 7 out of 10. Got into Q2 again. Mr. Saturday does it again. And decent in the race. So really good weekend to Russell. Lucas Satifi. 5 out of 10. A poor qualifying. And really not much race pace either. So not a great weekend for Nicholas Satifi. So that's the driver ratings done. Team ratings. Mercedes. 10 out of 10, an absolute masterclass by Mercedes with their strategy. And to have the second best car all weekend and still win the Grand Prix just shows why this team are seven times world champions. Red Bull, 10 out of 10, a really strong weekend and they are going to be a real threat to Mercedes. McLaren, 8 out of 10. Great weekend to Norris and decent for Ricardo as well. Ferrari, 7 out of 10. Decent weekend for them and a lot of positives to take. Alpine, 6 out of 10. Mixed emotions for Fernando Lonto. Good in qualifying, but disappointing to retire from the race. And at times, Ocon. Car looks a handful in the race, so definitely work to do for helping. Aston Martin, 5 out of 10. A really difficult weekend for Aston Martin. Alphatari, 6 out of 10. A poor weekend for Gasly, but good for Yuki Sonoda. Haas, 2 out of 10. A really difficult weekend for the Haas team. And Williams. 4 out of 10. Bad for Latifi, but really decent for George Russell. So that's the review done. Driver ratings, team ratings. If we get more of this between Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen, we are in for an absolute cracker of the season. 
F1 is back, and so are my race review videos. Join me tomorrow for more double uploads. I've been so consistent over the last two weeks, and with Manchester United not playing, I think I've done bloody well to continue the double uploads. So, if you're not subscribed to the channel, get subscribed. Get on board to the Mr. Joshy J YouTube channel. Comment your thoughts down below. I will always reply. You have time to comment on my videos. I will always reply. You take the effort. I like to show you some effort back. Bye-bye.